gridlock, traffic at a standstill, bumper to bumper. We're not just talking about the I-5 or the 605 or the 210. We're also talking about city streets, neighborhoods impacted by traffic, parents worried about busy streets and darting kids, shop owners wishing traffic would stop to shop, not just drive on by. It all makes for congestion, pollution, reduced mobility, and a tremendous stress on the quality of life in what is known as the State Route 710 corridor. It all comes down to time, that precious commodity we negotiate, calculate, and value each day. It's why people in the greater Los Angeles area usually speak in terms of time, not distance. When asked how far away one neighborhood is from another, El Sereno to Temple City, it's eight miles, give or take. But the answer you'll get is half an hour to 45 minutes or more. But if time is of the essence, you might think about peeling off freeways and cutting through neighborhoods. And there is little alternative but to negotiate your way through local streets if you're trying to avoid congestion. You then become what's known as cut-through traffic, identified as a major contributor to the area's congestion. The State Route 710 study is focused on the San Gabriel Valley and east-northeast Los Angeles. Traffic flow in this area will continue to operate at unacceptable levels and continue to get worse unless something is done. Particularly, the north-south traffic flow between the 10 and the 210. The study area represents 20% of Los Angeles County population, and the region has no major north-south connector to help reduce congestion and increase mobility on local streets. Is there a solution? At this time, there are a number of options being considered. Metro and Caltrans are working together, engaging the public in a dynamic process that requires collaboration and participation to arrive at viable solutions. In fall of 2011, hundreds of ideas were considered during the preliminary screening phase. Everything was on the table, from the timing of traffic signals, new transit lines, to a tunnel to extend the 710 freeway north to the 210. Each concept went through a preliminary screening process that filtered out less favorable alternatives. A matrix of criteria was created to evaluate travel time, transit connectivity, cut through traffic, as well as community impacts. In early 2012, 42 alternatives were identified as a reasonable set of alternatives for consideration during the initial screening phase. By the spring, they were narrowed down to 12. And now, five recommended alternatives remain. The study team is charged with guiding each of these five alternatives through the environmental review process in order to arrive at the best alternative consistent with state and federal requirements. Public participation and information sessions are a part of the process. Reports on potential environmental impacts and requisite mitigation measures will be drafted and released for public review by early 2014. A decision is expected early 2015. Here are the five alternatives that are going through this detailed study. There is no build, transportation system management, transportation demand management, or TSM TDM, bus rapid transit with refinements, light rail transit with refinements, and freeway tunnel with refinements. The no-build alternative is something we are required by law to look at, and it serves as a baseline against which all other alternatives can be compared. It's an important control element to the study. It tells us how bad traffic will be if we don't make additional investments. The no-build alternative includes those transportation improvement projects both inside and outside the study area. These projects are in the Southern California Association of Government's Regional Transportation Plan, or RTP, program to be completed by year 2035. Even with the addition of these programmed projects, they are considered to be not sufficient to meet the purpose and need of the State Route 710 study. TSM TDM is about using improved traffic management technology to increase efficiency and capacity for all modes of transportation. This includes pedestrian and bike facilities, 
intersection improvements, intelligent transportation systems, local street improvements, and substantially more bus service within the study area. These TSM TDM projects are lower cost and lower potential impact solutions. The study will concentrate on these components alone as one alternative, but they also may be included as part of other alternatives. BRT, or Bus Rapid Transit, includes new dedicated bus lanes for longer distance commuters, going to high traffic hubs. More buses with fewer stops at approximately half mile intervals will move in those new lanes as well as existing traffic lanes. Some on-street parking would be affected. BRT 6X would expand rapid bus service to key destinations from East Los Angeles to Pasadena. Starting just south of the Gold Line Atlantic Station at Atlantic and Whittier, the rapid bus line would move north on Atlantic Boulevard and continue on Fair Oaks Avenue to Pasadena with a terminal loop near Pasadena City College and Caltech. The LRT alternative would be similar to the Metro Gold, Blue, Green and Expo light rail lines. It would bring a new light rail transit line from East Los Angeles to Pasadena. The LRT line would connect to the existing Gold Line at the East Los Angeles Civic Center Station with an elevated station on Mednick Avenue and proceed north with proposed stops at Floral Drive, then follow the I-710 to a stop at Cal State LA with transfer service to the El Monte Busway and Metrolink. From there, it will continue north through a tunnel under Fremont and Fair Oaks Avenues and the 110 with stops in Alhambra at Huntington Drive and in South Pasadena before terminating near the existing Gold Line Fillmore Station. Freeway Tunnel alternative would extend the 710 as a high-speed limited access freeway with up to four lanes in each direction. The initial concept calls for separate tunnels for north and southbound traffic. The new freeway would be a little over six miles in length, connecting the existing 710 stub north of the 10 in Alhambra to the stub south of the 210-134 interchange in Pasadena. The tunnel portion would be just over four miles long, beginning south of Valley Boulevard in Alhambra, go to a depth of 100 to 150 feet, and emerge just south of Green Street in Pasadena. Refinements include the addition of TSM TDM, BRT, tolling, and or truck restriction. The State Route 710 study team will continue to refine and engineer the design of these five alternatives. A big part of the process is looking at enhancements of the alternatives before the preferred alternative is identified. Upon recommendation by the Metro Board of Directors, the environmental document will be certified by Caltrans. With the completion of the alternative analysis phase, the SR710 study now begins an in-depth analysis of the five alternatives that will move forward into the draft environmental document. The alternatives will be measured for performance against the key points of the study's purpose and need, which include improving efficiency of the existing regional freeway and transit networks, reducing congestion on local arterials that currently have to accommodate regional traffic volumes, and minimize environmental impacts related to mobile sources. The decision regarding this study will have an impact on all who live, work, and travel throughout the San Gabriel Valley and Northeast Los Angeles. <laughs>